So, hey guys, Chausi here. And today I thought we'll take a look at the new level limit breaks for end of November. Six new ones like usual. Uh, the two PvP level limit break are Smoker and Cracker. Uh, uh, we also get four free to play uh, trash map units with level limit break and it's Kaido, Nami, Law and Shanks. So we're going to take a look at all of them today. Let's start quickly with the PvP rear recruits. As for Cracker, not a lot has changed. He gets a bit higher attack up and speed up in his ability. And in his special, they've added 50% chance of action binding dex type enemies. And that's actually not bad. It's a cool extra bit you can get with him. I'm sad he doesn't do more damage. Like imagine if they made it like 1.5 times damage, ignoring death, he'd be so good then. So I'm sad he got such a small change, but uh, potentially action binding the enemies every time he uses his special and it's just 18 CT, it might end up being viable, especially on defense. So maybe he's okay. I'm a bit disappointed though. Smoker, I'm disappointed in for the opposite reason. They made him way too good. He was all he was already one of the most annoying units you could face because he had both the ability to special bind with his special and he had that miss chance in his ability. Before he just had attack up and miss up. Now they've added HP up level 6 to int and death up level 5 to driven. What were they thinking? This is like the biggest buff they've ever given with level limit break. Like maybe this or Rebecca and Toy Soldier, but I think this is bigger. And they give it to one of the best PvP rear recruit, one of the most annoying ones. Like this will just make uh, it a lot more, lot more annoying to face a wide variety of teams. Like anything who has Driven, for example, just put in Smoker now for that death up and his annoying special. Special hasn't changed much. Uh, it's 2.5 times damage now instead of 2 times, but it still has that very annoying 100% chance of special bind for 20 seconds. I still think uh, that is such a bad design, but like when I got first in PvP, this smoker ruined so many battles for me when he randomly special binded the wrong unit at the end of the game. Like, there's not much you can do about that. But yeah, the main uh, thing with smoker now is the fact that He's now the, if we talk in teams for example, he's now the by far best PvP rear recruit leader since optimally used four legends for PvP rear recruits. In didn't really have a good leader there, but now they have Smoker and you can put like the Giants in the back for example and maybe some other PvP rear recruits. So yeah, it's an interesting development. But yeah, let's talk about the more fun stuff. The actual PvE units. Uh, let's go from mo least to most exciting, I think. And the least exciting is the Shanks. Not saying he's bad though. Uh, still has that great 6 CD with double special. Uh, Captain ability now. Uh, up to 5.25 times attack for free spirit and cerebral, 1.2 times HP, some end of turn healing. Free spirit and cerebral has a higher chance of landing on matching. And this probably goes well with his special, who also increases the chance of getting matching orbs. So, good numbers, but it lacks something special, like some uh, utility, of course. Special, uh, he still reduces. Barriers by one turn. It does reduce burn by three turns now. I think it was two before, maybe even just one turn, so three is a lot better. Especially double special since you can remove six turns. Uh, he heals now. He didn't do that before, pretty sure. Great the chance of landing on own type slot for two turns. Uh, you get the uh, 1.75 times attack boost for the crew. That can be overwritten, so that's very cool. Uh, most of the time, that's a benefit since. Yeah, you can use a special that can give attack or or boost and you get both basically when you have 
a, a boost that can be overwritten. Uh, changes block slots to character's own type. Other orbs are randomly matched, unless they are matching, but since he increases the chance of landing on own orbs, usually you get a full board of matching orbs, at least 5 out of 6 most of the time. He adds some tap timing damage as well, on top of his normal damage, so yeah, uh, not much has changed here. He does basically the same, biggest change is the fact that he can do a fake attack boost basically but it's pretty low and yeah it's just pretty niche like he hasn't changed enough i'd say don't think i'll use him that much more after this uh, kaido he's one of the biggest memes in the game and they made him a bit better at being a meme uh captain ability he himself gets minus two cd powerhouse and driven 1.5 times hp 4.75 times attack his own attack is 5 times. Recovery slots have matching slot effect, higher chance of landing on recovery orbs. And then the call affinity buff you use gets a plus 0.3 buff. So that's pretty okay. Like Kaido wants to get recovery orbs, so having a higher chance of getting them makes him work better as a unit without any support to get recovery orbs. But as with the Shanks, lacks utility. I'd also like him to have C the reduction for the whole team. Special, 10% uh, HP cut for one enemy, uh, this was before as well. It removes beneficial effects placed on crew, also same as before. Uh, Kaido gets a Vana Orb, this is new, when Kaido released Vana Orbs didn't exist. And then it depends on how many recover orbs you consume. So let's say you've consumed 6 recover orbs. What you'll get then is that you get a 6 turn ore block. The ore block is new. 6 turns attack boost for Kaido 3.5 times. And 6 turns 1.75 times ore boost. See, so yeah, I think the attack boost is a bit higher. And I said the lock is new as well. But yeah, it, this just makes Kaido work better in the way that you don't have to care about orbs either with this. Kaido will keep his Wano. He will be able to do a lot of damage, so he just becomes easier to use, but yeah, selfish units like this are not the best in general. But now when he can get a one orb and the orb block and such, he might be fun to use. He's the one I look forward the most to trying out at least. Uh, next up is Law, who got a good buff and we see some good use now, but... Not the most exciting, I'd say. Uh, stage 3, you get the minus 6 CD. This basically lets you use Law early, reduce some CD, and then you can use him again. So basically making him a pseudo minus 1 CD captain with that way of looking. Fighter Slash is rebel and Free Spirit gets 2.3 times attack. So this is one of those old style captains when you have to have one of each class. Fighter Slasher gets the 5.29 times attack boost, but if you are fighter driven, you only get 2.3 times attack. So, uh, very restrictive team building. Tandem Recover have matching slot effects, and you resist buying by one turn. So, that's pretty cool. We have some utility, but in <laughs> otherwise, it's the worst captain of, of the bunch. Special. Uh, some damage to one enemy, reduces Bind the Spear by 5 turns. Pretty sure this was 2 turns before, so that's a big change. Uh, changes adjacent slots, including block to matching. Changes slots on slot, including block to tandem. 2 turn plus 0.9 chain boost. And fighter slashes Rebel and Free Spirit minus 1 CD. Uh, the only thing I wished was that he could get a 3 turn chain boost. I think that would have been good. Other than that, like, just do a full board or manip, in my opinion, like, just do it. <laughs> but yeah, he's solid, he will definitely see more use now. And the already could resist special reverse as well as a sub. Finally, we have one of the biggest buffs I've ever seen for a unit, like, I thought level limit break dummy would be good. They really didn't have to do much, just make everything she does fire turns and she will be good. 
but they went a step further, so to say. So let's take a look. Nami, minus two CD, and you get a 5.25 damage attack boost for Cerebral Striker as long as you have over 50% HP. And if you go below, you just lose a bit of attack to 4.75 times, and then 1.5 times recovery. So again, no utility, not even an HP boost, so not the best captain. At least you can speedrun with her, so I'll definitely try that. But I wish she could at least resist special bind for herself, since she can remove it with her special, for example. Special though, and this is such a big buff. Uh, reduces damage taken by 70% for one turn, uh, that's, that's new. Reduces paralysis, attack down, remove SFX, burn, and the uh, chain lock debuffs by five turns. Uh, removing chain lock is not always good since you remove chain lock and chain boundary, but the rest is awesome at least. And I don't know if she removed all of that before, but it was just three turns if she did, so now it's five turns. She also changes block and unfavorable orbs to rainbow. Like, where did that come from? Where did, where did rainbow orbs come from? Like, I know that rainbow orbs are not the highest priority orb now, but it's still an unchangeable orb, and unchangeable orbs still have amazing value. It's just that most of the time you prefer Wano or maybe Semla, but Super Bomb and Rainbow definitely has very good value too. And if character slot is Psy or Rainbow when special is launched, reduces special bind by five turns. So it's kind of dumb that she doesn't just re reduce it at all the time, but it should be manageable to set up a lot of the time. At least at least that Psy orb. Rainbow is a bit more trickier, but Psy orb, sure. As long as you don't get like orb and by the enemy, should be feasible. You can also use like do a unit that swap or such. But basically, can remove five turns of special bind, paralysis, attack down, burn, chain debuffs, potentially full board of rainbow orbs. Uh, I don't know, don't know if it has that special bind as well, but that too, like, amazing kit. Like this is basically a new unit and I'd say it's one of the best free to play units of the year. Like that's how good she is. And just nine CV2 because yeah, <laughs> That's just how good she is. And yet she does resist the special bind. And she also makes in slots matching for Ribbon Striker. So yeah, just an amazing kit in general. Uh, one note noteworthy thing is that they even added PvP stuff for her. I think this is the first time they do that. I don't know why. It doesn't look good either, but yeah. Something to keep in mind, but yeah. Just see how much they did for her. Like, this is a new unit, really. Uh, not sure why they thought Nami needed such a buff, but yeah, we take it. We take it. This is for free. So, yeah, definitely go to the trash map shop, buy your Nami dupes. I can definitely recommend Law as well, Shanks, Kaido. Bit lower priority, and you're going to hate seeing Smoker in PvP very soon. But yeah. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.